Hi. Hi. I'm poet Ray Monet, and I am an erotic poet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, I'm a little girl. Bit cutting edge. Go ahead, girl. But I'm gonna read some nice things to you all this evening. Um, I'm gonna start, uh, and actually, with some poems from my book that I have available this evening, of course, at a table out in the gallery. Hopefully, you'll come and see me. Um, but this is from the Bedroom Companion, uh, which I'll be reading. Now, I'm going to start with uh, a lovely piece, one that is entitled Long Distance. I wish you could kiss me through the phone. Put those lips to the receiver so they can travel the miles between us just in time to lie your lips softly against mine as if space weren't a factor at all. I wish that your tongue could travel through the telephone line, tickling my cheek at the very moment I say hello, giving forth a little giggle that lets you know that you're excited. I wish there are dream states could connect us in a dream state where I don't have to see you every day because I'll see you every night. I wish that we were a ball of twine. So that our feelings could intertwine with our legs, arms, fingers, body, soul, and mind. What I'm trying to say is, I want to intermingle with you. I want to experiment. Put our hearts into test tubes and see if we can create something better than our love. I want to experience life with you. Hearts once playing dead, now reborn, so that every experience is a first. I just want to be around you. But this distance makes it impossible to kiss those sweet lips at the end of a hard day. You're the perfect fairy tale to woe me to sleep. But these miles keep my mind awake at night, and honestly, since you left my bed, I've barely been able to sleep. So my mind keeps racing, thinking of you, innovative ways to be close to you but I'm so far from those comforting arms that my security has tainted. Living in the memory of our last face-to-face, -face, wishing that you were here so you can kiss the tears away. That's long distance. Hey.